Hi everyone, I'm here in New York with my good friend Ophira Edut of the Astro Twins. Many of you know the Astro Twins already because I've been talking about them incessantly for years, but I'm really excited to be able to have this conversation with Ophi as I'm rolling out my book on life satisfaction. And I was thinking a lot about the book and about how important it is for us to um, be focused on life satisfaction. And I thought about this and I know a lot of people, uh, they know about astrology, they're excited, they're interested in about astrology, and they want to understand, you know, how does that apply to helping people develop life satisfaction in their lives? So I thought I'd have a conversation with Ophi, and here we are. So welcome, Ophi. Here Ophie. we are. Yeah. Stars have aligned to bring us together. Once again. Once again. Yeah. And Ophi and Tali are twins. They're the Astro Twins. They write for Elle magazine. They write for TV Guide. They've got a really successful, popular website. And uh, so we've got some real expertise here to talk with us today. Yay. Thanks, Ophi. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> All right, great. So I just have a few questions for you. You know, I wanted to talk about this, and I think. You know, I think what something that people are really interested in are people that they have an idea about what astrology is and this idea that, you know, there are these stars and it's all, everything's kind of aligned in a certain way and that means that they've got to act this way or do this particular yeah. thing and then they get kind of conflicted by, well, what about my free will? Where do exactly. I get to play with this? So I wonder if you could maybe speak about that interaction, that dance between those two aspects. Yeah, yeah. and that's a question I love to answer because a lot of people think, oh, astrology, well, that means that I, I don't want to know because that means I'm cursed or I'm going to have a bad day or a good day. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's not really, there's so many other ways to use astrology. It's actually a really useful tool where it's not uh, exclusionary to free will at all. No. Um, I feel like, you know, well, there's, when you're born, you have a chart that, that basically is a map of where all the planets were when you were born. And I think of it as like your factory settings. Like when you get mm. a new computer or iPhone <laughs> okay. or tablet, yeah. you know, it's got, they all have the same Look. desktop pattern, you know. Your chart is kind of like the operating system, but then you can customize it with the apps you put on it, and that yeah. kind of, that's where the free will is like the apps and yeah. the you know the the pattern and the uh, you know yeah like kind of how you leverage what you were given with when yeah, you were born exactly. how you utilize that and actually the more you know uh, just like with anything the mm. more conscious you are of yourself the more f your free will expands because when you know what maybe your automatic tendency would be to do, yeah. then you can be like, oh, there I go, you know, I'm a Sagittarius, mm -hmm. we're said not to really follow through or finish what we start mm -hmm. sometimes, so it's like, oh, here I go starting another project that I'm probably not going to finish, so I <laughs> could kind of get ahead of the curve and be like, oh, I'm about to do that again, maybe I want to rein that part of myself in yeah. and bring out other parts of myself. Yeah, so what I'm hearing is just that having the awareness of this kind of operating system, which you were born with, it, means, it doesn't mean you're going to be able to change it because that is kind of what you're born with and yeah. you can be aware of it and then kind of, you know, kind of leapfrog yourself and kind of get out in front of yourself and be like, oh, actually, okay, if I just yeah. keep doing my normal thing here, that's not going to go well, so maybe I'll do it this way. Yeah. 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 Well, here you are. You're a Gemini. Yes. And Gemini rules communication, new media, technology, writing, books, you know, right. all of those are coming yeah. together for you. So yeah. you are doing something that's great for yeah. a Gemini. But you're also adding your own twist, yeah. it, you know? Sometimes Geminis get scattered in too many different directions. Mm, so that may happen before. to you. Yeah. <laughs> it may happen to you, but then you'll be like, well, maybe I need to bring that, you know? Yeah. Bring some balance. Or bring a person in who can balance that out because yeah. they're naturally organized or naturally, you know, very focused on oh. one thing at a time. Sounds a lot like my partner. Cool. All right. Well, I wanted to, you know, there's... As you guys know, I'm writing this book and I'm crowdfunding and crowdsourcing, which I guess is part of my sign, so that makes sense to me, even more sense to me now as I'm talking to Ophi. <laughs> and in this yeah. book, I talk about the, 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 the really these four pillars of life satisfaction, these areas of life that are critical, mm -hmm. I think, that if the people aren't paying attention to it, they tend to lose, like, they tend, their level of life satisfaction tends to go down. And so I talk about you know, the importance of body and health, nutrition, exercise, that kind of stuff. I talk about the emotions, like the range and the depth of our emotions and how important those are. I talk about mental clarity, you know, thinking, thinking clearly, thinking rightly. And then I think I talk about life purpose and soul purpose and kind of what we're here for. And I notice if you guys, you'll, you know, you'll kind of check out their website and see how they write their, um, their astrology, their readings, which I think are amazing. Um, and they, you guys tend to talk about this kind of thing. So I want to just kind of ask you about how, why it is that you do that and why it is that you think those things are important. Yeah. Well, one thing, I think the people who are interested in personal growth work or astrology or what mm. you're doing tend to be um, relationship-driven people. Mm. So for those of us that are, I feel like if your relationships don't work, the rest of your life kind of does. You know, you, no. there's these things that stop us. A lot mm. of people are stuck in analysis paralysis. Mm. They're stuck at this crossroad because there's some area of their life that just is 
blocked in some way that they need maybe some extra tools or insights. Mm. So, I mean, we divide up our horoscopes by, you know, a general overview of, of the week or the month, and then we, for the monthly ones, which are longer, we yeah. do love, we do career, and then we do a mind, body, and soul section. Yeah. So those yeah. are our pillars. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's amazing. You know, I think, to, to your point, it's kind of like, you know, it's, 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 the, it's for people that are interested in actually designing their life, you know, interacting with, engaging with their life, mm -hmm. whether they're using astrology, whether they're using the principles from this book, or both, you know, that's, I, I get that. It's really like if, if, for people that are interested in living a successful, satisfied, abundant, vibrant life, yeah. you want to use all the tools available to you. you know? But you do have to use them or they get rusty. Yeah. You throw the tools in the shed, it doesn't matter how good they are if you don't use them. Yeah.